Next, I wanted to find out more about spirit guides. And so I reached out to Yahoon, who said he could help me connect with my higher self and true calling. I've often felt like I had a guardian angel, some sort of spirit that was watching and protecting me while I travel the world doing risky things. I've trekked through worn Torny Rock when bombs were still falling and slept out in the Wadi Rum Desert of Jordan with only a few nomads and camels to guide me. But I always felt safe. Why is that? Religious traditions teach about angelic beings that assist us in times of crises. Indigenous cultures teach about guides who provide protection and support. Most people view prayer as a way to receive wisdom and instruction from the other side. This guidance comes from non-physical beings who are said to help the soul have experiences and learn lessons as they navigate through Earth school. Think of yourself as an undergraduate student and spirit guides as your professors. Hi, my name is Jeroen de Witt. I am a level 3 quantum healing hypnosis technique practitioner. I was trained by Dolores Cannon back in 2006, so I've been doing this for 13 years already. So the form of past life regression that I do, QHHT, is a way for a person to connect to their higher self. And when that happens, a lot of healing can take place. A QHHT session takes about four to five hours. First, we start by just talking about a person's life. So in this case with Lisa, we'll start touching on all the events that make up who she is today, both the positive and the negative. And then I'll take her through a hypnotic induction and the connection then is made with her higher self. It'll provide her with the most appropriate experiences that are the most healing for her. I'll ask her higher self questions about her life, like why are certain things happening? What is the metaphysical backstory to certain events in her life, if she wants to know? The purpose is for a person to recover parts of themselves and to find healing from their higher self, from their soul, there's different words for this, to recover their authenticity and to live a heart-centered life. I was very receptive to Yahoon and I quickly slipped into a relaxed state of mind. I saw images. It felt like dreaming, but the images were very vibrant and felt real. And as you come back down, I want you to tell me the very first impressions that you have. I feel like uh, I'm just seeing white robes and spiritual stuff. And mm -hmm. She was just right there. Where she went is she visited her council. Some sessions people visit, or they experience themselves being part of a council of spiritual beings. I asked these other council members about the purpose of this council and, and particularly what, what's Lisa's job in this council. It's almost like a conference. Mm -hmm. Is it inside or outside? Outside. Tell me about how this space is organized. Are there people there? There's about six people. Mm -hmm. And uh, it seems like there's one main person. Oftentimes when I'm encountering these beings in spiritual settings, um, in, different se in different sessions, they're always wearing robes. Is there any sense of the way they're dressed? Everyone's in white. Mm -hmm. Almost like a spiritual karate clothes or, you know, everyone's just baggy white. You know, where's the universal robe discount warehouse? You know, where's everybody getting their, their robes? <laughs> but it's also uh, for me to sort of get my bearings. So, okay, so there's robes, okay, it's probably going to be a more spiritual experience rather than a past life. What is Lisa's life all about? What did she come to the planet for? She was supposed to help people heal their deep wounds of pain and loneliness. Mm -hmm and help heal the planet. Hmm. We found out that her life purpose as being part of that council is that she's a volunteer here on the planet to help bring about more unity. Yahoon asked me to describe my mission in this lifetime. It is to bring cultures together hmm. and to help um, eliminate the xenophobia. The answer made sense to me. For many years, I've traveled all over the world to over 50 countries, and I found out that everyone is looking for the same thing, love and connection. Then my counsel surprised me. I thought I was working solo on this project, but it turns out that I have a few co-producers on the other side. You're here. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to help connect that, that I think I'm doing a documentary, but I'm not. 
and they're helping and that's why they got the team they did around me and I think it's so easy but they said we're all we're doing it <laughs> is there any guidance there what she can do to stay the course oh he said this project is on the right track mm -hmm. okay he said this is the next step mm, this is the next step he said it's timely to write down everything that's happening here because it's going fast Working with hypnotherapy allowed me to actually experience my unseen guardians and protectors that guide me from the other side. Both sessions left me with a lot to think about. I think our world is struggling for connection and answers to questions like, where did I come from? Why am I here? And what's my purpose? But life isn't about getting everything right. It's about the journey you go on, the heart connections you make, and the experiences you have along the way. As difficult as life can seem, it's good to know that we have help and we're not alone on this journey.